the only reason the narcissist comes back. There's really only one reason why a narcissist will come back. And it's because they're going through hard times. It's because something has gone wrong. Because before they left you, they did things that were insulting and unfair. Which is how you should know that they were already involved with someone else. Because they're only talking to you that way when they don't need you. Because they've already got someone else lined up to take your place. They're entertaining someone else. And this new person is making them feel like they don't need to respect you anymore. Because they're already on their way out of there. So they begin to act recklessly. They become more aggressive. And it makes you wonder what caused those feelings and opinions. It makes you wonder what is their motivation or reason for doing that or for holding that position against you. But it's because they're entertaining someone else. They're talking to someone. And it's given them the courage and confidence to disrespect you. They feel like they can treat you however they choose to. Because they don't need you now, so they don't care. Which is why the disrespect is always followed by them leaving you. Because they've already made plans with this new person. So now they feel like they can treat you however they like. You will see them moving on and trying to establish something with someone else but they will still come back even after everything they've said about you. They will still be lurking in the shadows as though they're waiting for something. They will still be checking in on you and it won't make any sense to you. Because they already told you they're done with you. So you didn't even expect them to care. But narcissists have to create a problem. They have to create an issue. So that they can justify their reason for leaving you. Because they know that they've been doing you wrong behind the scenes. But they need to uphold their false image because they want to look like the good person. So they have to make it seem like it was something you did that caused everything, even though you may not have done anything wrong. They just thought the grass was greener on the other side. They were looking for the next shiny new toy. And they thought they had found someone who could replace you. So they created a state of fake disturbance, confusion and uncertainty. So that they could make the breakup happen more quickly. But that's not the cause of it. That's not what really went down. They were just so involved with this other person. And they felt pressure to do something. Because this other person wanted them to take action and it had an effect on them, it was too much for them to bear. So they had to go and cut you off. They had to move forward. But when they did that, it was actually the beginning of their demise because things always look good in the beginning. But that's all that it was. 
because narcissists are addicted to the beginnings of something and that's all that they're seeking. They're not interested in anything that happens after the beginning, which is why when things are about to move past that point, they will leave and try to start again with something new. Because they can't find fulfillment in anything further than that. Which is why this cycle will always repeat itself. After they've been with you for a while it will get boring. Even though you've done nothing wrong. That's actually a part of the problem. Because the more practical and useful you are. The less attractive you will be to them. It will make them bored and restless. And they will be wanted to seek something else. Because they need something new. So then they will try to replace you. And in the beginning it may be fun for them. But when things start to get serious. And it's time for them to invest more of themselves. They begin to realize that it's just the same thing happening again. The same thing that they just ran away from. So they could have just stayed in the same place. But they went somewhere else because they thought they were going to get a better deal. But they didn't. So once the newness wears off and the fun is over they start to think about you again and that is why they're monitoring your activities that is why they're keeping you under observation because they know what they did to you they know they did you wrong but when they come back they can say that they were always checking in on you they were always thinking about you but they weren't thinking about you when they were involved with someone else they only came back because something went wrong. If everything is going well for them and they've got what they need, they will never come back to you. They will only come back if they need something from you or if they can use you for something. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.